Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Josh from Trinity and welcome to part 3 of Let's Try Sangfried Tales of Werewolves. So in our last episode we had gone through the top-down strategy guide of... Excuse the horse. Um, setting, up the, um, setting up the traps before we actually went back into third person view of our character and then actually ran around trying to activate traps and take down the attackers as part of the, the tower defense of the game. Um, it didn't go very well, I think the house took quite a lot of damage, so I'm hoping that uh, at some point, either in this episode or maybe the next, we can get an opportunity to repair that or do something with it, but again, still learning on the fly, so we'll see how it goes. So, welcome to the village of Wolfsvale. To enter a shop, just click the building. To return to your house, click on the road. Let's have a look at the hotel. It's a good place to start anyway. So buying items, click on the item you want to purchase in the shop's inventory on top. Selling items, click on item you want to sell in your inventory at the bottom. Items are sold to reduce price for when you bought them. Okay, so don't make a, make a mess of it. It would be nice actually if... Um, oh, come here. If we could actually sell like the pelts of the animals that we've killed, that'd be quite nice. But obviously, I don't think that is an option. So we have eau de v reduced by distilling blueberries and cloudberries. It can burn the throat of even the heavy drinkers. People have attributed medical properties to eau de v, saying it prolongs life if you drink small doses regularly. Because of its antiseptic properties, it can also use to disinfect wounds. And we have spruce beer. Brewed ever since the 17th century upon the arrival of the first European settlers, this typical Canadian beverage revives the spirit and stimulates the body of an exhausting man, exhausted man, so that with the first touch of his lips, his everescent f off to the everescent foam, he is instantly perked up. So that's like a, a, a 1800s version of Viagra. Carabao. This traditional Canadian alcohol is distilled illegally by hotel keepers to satisfy the demand during evening celebrations. Often adul adulterated to, oh my god they're really challenging me. <laughs> Often adulterated and with an extremely high alcohol content, caribou warms and numbs the drinker giving him a temporary feeling of power. Oh, oh so what I've actually seen is underneath the, the um, alcohol pictures here you actually have, so this one gives you plus four damage for 30 seconds this gives you 100% stamina for 10 seconds and this one gives you 100% hit points, that's quite powerful actually so um, how much is that going to cost me? I think we'll probably take one of each and return to the village we'll have a look at the uh, hardware store, the blacksmith <laughs> So it looks like this is actually just be going to going to be giving us additional weapons. So damage one, agility one, range three, and it's holy. Damage two, agility two, range one, not holy. Damage three, agility two, range three, one sixty-five. Hmm. Okay. I don't think I need to upgrade my weapon just yet. Even more so that it's now a, a holy axe. A general store. So here we can buy the bullets at a cent a piece, a new rifle, so that's damage 1, range 3, reload 2, discretion 5, so damage 1, damage 1, so it's got more range, reloads the same and discretion is the same, what have we got here? so that's armor, one hit point of armor that's 75 cents, okay now I don't think there's a point where we need to buy a new weapon as of yet, so the mayor is not in the convent I think the convent was already just been to actually bless our weapons yes it is, yeah okay I'm not going to do anything else with the holy bullets until I really know what's going on. So, um, I think that's everything. Well, I return to the house. <coughs> I have to excuse me, I'm just recovering from a bout of man flu. 
um, so my throat is rather dry at the moment. We'll watch the tutorial movie. Bait. Bait will delay the enemies who eat it. This icon shows how much time is left before the bait is finished. The more enemies there are eating it, the faster it will finish. Okay, so that's actually a bit more helpful, given that when we were running around like a mad one in the last episode, we um, we didn't get to the house in time for the, the second wave to actually start, so if we can put bait down to prevent them from attacking, then that's useful. So we have bait, which is free, the bonfire, increase your fear factor, hanging net, We've got a single wave, of which we have a werewolf going for the house, uh, three wolves going for the house, and one werewolf going for the chickens. Look at all those chickens! If we click here, does it, it just gives us a direct route as to where they're going, so those three. Okay. So what do we do? How do we actually plan this? Combine bait with other traps to facilitate use. So if it is actually going to take that path... Can I put one down there? And then with it, add some bait to it? Ah, okay. That may help me. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So this one, that's going just straight for... Straight for the house, no messing around. The question is, do we try a hanging net trap here? Let's see if we can do something with that. It's going to take some action points, but... Um, maybe with some bait again. Add some bait on the edge of it. And then here, we can add some traps which cost us money. But I don't think it's a bad thing to spend some of it right now. Um, and if we pull bait onto that area as well. Hopefully that'll slow them down a bit. Um, I'm tempted to spend a little bit more on another trap with baiting for this one as well. We spent quite a bit of money but the, the house took a, a bit of a pounding last time. Um, and we just have the one bait with this werewolf here, so that's in the chicken coop. So we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Let's see if I uh, fail miserably or not. <laughs> new skill points. Oh, I thought I'd use these in the last episode, but maybe not. Oh, I've got an extra one because I'd already uh, unlocked that one. Uh, I think it would be a bad idea to get the extra length of time in the trapping side of things. Just need to remember the keys now. Less bullets are particularly effective against diabolic creatures. Right, so I think what we want to do really is to come over this way and have the have this werewolf um, done with. him as well. I think I got him. Did I kill him? Yep, he's dead. Um, to burn up my stamina too much. Need to 
reload this pretty quickly. Actually, those wolves, I'm going to leave them right now. I'm going to go and see if I can take out this, uh, this werewolf right here. Oh. He is in a trap. How is it to use my silver bullets now? God damn it, I can't remember. Oh, that was it, yes. Scroll the wouse, mouse mouse meal. Yeah, words. The mouse wheel. And he's just about finished, so hurry up and do that for me, please. Okay, let's have him. This is he's also blessed. So I'll do more damage. Base is being devoured, so we need to head back to the house. And hopefully we can uh, finish these wolves off just with the axe. Get a bit of a sprint on. <laughs> bit of a slowdown on the game, but there we go. Wave 1 completed. Achievement unlocked. Thick skin survived the night without taking any damage. Can't think I meant to do with that, but there we go. <coughs> it looks like the cabin uh, just regenerates health instead of actually being stacked, so I'll, um, I'll take that given how poor my second night was. The sawmill, for obscure reasons, he has always refused to divulge. Finidis Saint Crapard's father left his native land of whatever that is to settle in the Wolf's Vale region, becoming the operator of the sawmill for the W. H. the W. Hood Co. Since then, Phidias, ha, Phineas and Ferb, has taken over for his father, but the infernal beasts have made life difficult for the Arcadian. They've been specifically tagging his mill for some time now. Chapter 5, A Mill and Problems The beast did a lot of damage last night, so I'd gone down to the hardware store in the village to get stuff to fix my mill. I was coming back, and since I didn't have any more tobacco in my pouch, I said to myself, it'd be a good idea to warm myself up a little <coughs> at Jackie's. Say, Phidias, could there be something here that's attracting the beast? Except for my cabin, my barn. There's just your mill. But the attacks keep getting worse night after night. You're not hiding anything from us, are you, friend? What's you say, Me? buddy pal? Hiding something? As I live Mr. and breathe. Friend. In fact, if there's something I would have liked, it would have been for you to help me defend my mill last night. The lumberjacks from W. Hood Company came to take away the down tree that was blocking the main road. So you can easily get to the mill now. And then if you help me. I'll help you back putting out your traps. With the three of us, it'll go faster. Sounds like a good deal to me. I'm putting the traps out You can yet. count on us tonight. We'll protect your mill. Brilliant. Okay, guys. Well, I think I'm actually going to put a cut in here right now. Um, just because I am absolutely dripping from my nose with uh, with cold juices um it's not feeling too great so i'm going to put a cut in here so it's going to be a bit of a short episode but i do apologize um hope ones are feeling a bit better i'll be i'll be back on with this a bit longer but i just wanted to make sure that you guys knew that i was still recording i'm still here and doing things even though i'm having to uh, man up a little bit at the same time uh, in the meantime this is being recorded on the 3rd of october so on the 5th uh, friday you'll be getting part 7 of uh, surviving Mars and also have a video being released hopefully fairly soon in the next week or so with some channel updates and potential news as to what we're going to be doing next so as always guys thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time